I'm sure you probably have heard of some pictures of those beautiful uh, white sand turquoise water beaches with those bigger rocks. Uh, this is definitely what I remember from the Seychelles. But the question is, are those islands worth visiting and exploring? Welcome back on my channel, my name is Clément and I'm a content creator usually based in France. I'm currently staying in Phuket in Thailand, but this won't be the point of that video which is going to be focused on the Seychelles. This video comes as the second part of a series I'm doing about the Indian Ocean, which I've explored for about two months, uh, starting with the Reunion Islands, the Seychelles, and Mauritius. And that's gonna be like videos for each of them. So let's go! Oh, hi! Today I want to talk to you about the Seychelles, or at least two of its islands, because there's a lot of them. I've spent a week in one of uh, the islands called La Digue, and then another week in the main island, Mae. Mae does have beautiful beaches, but uh, I would recommend to stay there only two or three days, and then uh, spending most of your time in either La Digue, where I went, or Pralin, which is another one of its islands which I didn't go, because um, there's no enough time to do everything. So yeah, I'm gonna focus this video on Ladi because it was really amazing. What differs in the Seychelles co in comparison with the Reunion Island is that, yeah, it's mostly about beaches. I mean, you could still explore and do a few hikes, I'm sure, but uh, I think most people come to the Seychelles just to go to the beach. And if you've seen uh, pictures or videos about the Seychelles, you will understand why it's all about beaches. Speaking of which, to get an idea of what to expect to see in the Seychelles, uh, I invite you to check the last video I posted. So I'm gonna put this link to in my bio and here. Not in my bio, in the description down, box down below, putain. Put the link in the description down, box, no. I'm gonna put the link in the description box down below and here. I flew from the Reunion Island to Mae, which is the main island and where the airport is. From there, I had the transfer from the airport to the jetty and then took a ferry from Mae to Ladi, which was about, I think, two, a little bit less than two hours. The first thing to know about Ladi is that there's no car except for taxis. So you can either walk on the island or rent a bike, which most people do. You can either uh, rent it from shops that you can find like in the main street of the island or maybe your accommodation can provide it for you for the time you're here. Accommodation-wise, most of them are guest houses and I think it's the less expensive option there. There's of course hotels depending on your budget, but um, guest houses are a nice like, uh, way to like, spend less money. I booked the guest houses through booking Chemera, which had everything I needed. Large bed, small kitchen to cook if I wanted to, bathroom the day I arrived the owner uh, cooked dinner for me for free she was here doing like cleaning every day and she was also available if I had any questions during my stay so yes and she also provided me with a bike I think that was a hundred rupees if I'm not mistaken a day like I said I stayed in Ladig or on Ladig. I don't know if you do you say on an island or in an island, so that I don't know, I have to check. But, same thing that happened uh, when I was in the Reunion Island, which was rain. I literally had half of my stay with rain and the rest of like sunny days. So I would not recommend going there uh, at the end of January, maybe try to go like later during the year, as it is still like raining season. But anyway, three sunny days were enough for me to explore this island as it isn't that big. So let's talk beach. So first, on Sever, which is the closest beach from the main street where all the shops are. You can either walk there and I think it takes around 15 minutes from the main street or you can just bike there and there's a little bit of uh, climb. No, I don't know, it's a bit uh, like this, like clack, but it's fine. You, you know you arrived at Ansever when you see the bikini bottom sign, which I love the stop there to get smoothie mm, every day, yum. Also you will see the tortoise sign, because yeah, there's two big turtles just like 
actually on the, on the, on the street of it. Let's talk about Grande Hans, Petite Hans and Hans Coco, which were like, I think my favorite. They are in the south where you can bike there. It's about like four kilometers, I think, from the main street. You can park your bike uh, in the forest, which is near the entrance of Grande Anse. If you're there during the afternoon, you'll, you'll see like people selling coconut water and coconut to eat, which is very good, especially after like biking. You can decide to either stay here or if you want to see more secluded beaches and feel like you can walk a little bit more, then you can just follow tracks. Yeah, I think walk maybe 15-ish minutes, depending on how fast you walk. And you arrive to Petit Hans. And then if you don't mind walking for like maybe 15 to 20 minutes again through the forest like this and this. Uh, and you arrive here. <laughs> I went there early in the morning and I was the only one on the beach. I think it was my favorite beach of the whole Seychelles trip. The fun fact about here is that no animals are deadly, so it's fine. Even though spiders are really maybe scary, because I really don't like spiders, uh, they won't kill you, so it's fine. Finally, let's talk about the last one I went to, which is en source d'argent. I was pretty sure it was here, but it's not yet, so I'm not on the right beach, I think. I think I have to go this way. But anyway, so when you go to en source d'argent, you have to go to a park, which name is a Union Estate Park. Uh, you have to pay 115 rupees, and they give you this, so you can freely access the park and explore it. So you have to park your bike about five minutes from here but uh, so yeah no I'm not on the right place so I'm gonna keep walking and see. so I'm not sure where the beach actually is right now because I'm just like exploring but it's like already nice okay so I think I'm getting pretty close to all the which I think I think it's this way so I'm gonna keep walking this beach is beautiful and I think there's like coral reef because I was able to do snorkeling, so I guess there was some kind of... You can also chill on the beach and eat some fresh fruit, mm, yum, from the vendors, which were amazing. Also, what I loved about this island was the food. Oh, so... Good. Being able to buy fresh fruits from the market and cook a little bit from myself was amazing. But yeah, especially the, the fresh tropical fruits like mangoes, bananas, passion fruits. I, uh, yeah, love it. And if you don't want to cook, then of course you can find restaurants which will serve you uh, fresh fish or like rice or uh, I don't know, like local dishes. To answer the question, definitely yes, it was amazing. But um, I think this is the kind of place you go once and once is enough like I don't see myself going back there anytime soon but it was really good to visit. I think this video is gonna be shorter than the previous one maybe uh, but yeah I hope uh, you liked it and if you did uh, make sure to hit the like button subscribe uh, you can follow me on Instagram or on TikTok which is where I post most of what I do either pictures or videos and I will see you in the next video see ya